Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and in this lecture we are going to discuss about input and output redirections in shell scripting. In the previous lecture we have seen all about the quoting mechanisms. So in this lecture we will be discussing about the input and output redirections. So most Unix command take the input from your terminal and send the resulting output back to our terminal. So this command normally reads its input from the standard input which happens to be your terminal by default. So similarly a command normally writes its output to standard output which is again your terminal by default. So the work of any command is nothing but to take the input or give us the output or it can do the both things. So the Linux system has some functionality to redirect this input and output functionalities. So let us discuss in deep about what are the output and input redirections. So the first one is output redirection. So the output from a command should normally intend for standard output which we can easily divert to a file. So this capability is known as a output redirection. So if we use the greater than symbol and give the file name so it will append it to any command that normally writes its output to the standard output. So this output of that command will be written to a file instead of your terminal. So here I have given one example where we have stored the output of a who command which will give us all the information about the users into the file name named users. So when we run the command the data about all the users will be stored in the users file. Let us discuss this with some simple example. So for this example, let us take an example of a ls command. So you already know the ls is used for displaying out the items. So as you can see we are getting all the results and we are getting the result in our output terminal only. But you want to store this result into some file, then you can do that by using the output redirection. All you have to do is just type ls, after that just give the greater than symbol and we have to give the file name. So the file name will be list. So that's it. Now the result from the ls command will be stored in the list file instead. And it will not give any output to our terminal. As you can see in this example. So when we try to see the content in the list file, as you can see, it is printing all the items present in our directory, which is the result of a ls command. So this is how you can use the output redirection functionality of a Unix for storing any result of a command into some file. But there's one thing you have to make a note. If the file that you have given is already having some content, it will be removed and replaced with the output of the command that you are using for your output redirection. But if you want to append the result into your existing file, you can do that. For that you have to use the greater than symbol twice and give the file name so that the output will be appended to our existing file. Let me show you with some example. So here we have created the list file and we have stored the output of a ls command. So now when we try to use the echo apple, if you try to store the result into our existing file which is list and now we will try to see the content of our existing file which is list. As you can see, the output of a ls command that we have stored earlier has been replaced by the output of a echo command as you can see here. But if we want to append the list file, you can do that by simply using the greater than symbol twice. So if we want to store the another item such as orange and we will use the greater than symbol twice and give the file name which is list and we try to see the contents as you can see here the result of our echo command which is orange has been appended to the existing file so that's all about the output redirection so now let us discuss about input redirection so as we have already seen the output of a command can be redirected to a file so we can do that for input redirection as well so the input of a command can be redirected from a file. This functionality is known as input redirection. So as the greater than symbol is used for the output redirection, the less than symbol is used 
for redirecting the input of a command. So the commands that normally take their input from the standard input can have their input redirected from a file in this following manner as I have given in this example. So for this example, to count the number of line, we usually use the word count command. So here by executing this command, we can count the number of lines present in the user's file. So the user's file that we have already created having the two items namely apples and oranges. So the word count will be two and it is displayed here. Let us discuss this with some simple example. So first let me clear out the clutter. So now we have already have one file named list which has two contents. So if we want to count the word we usually use the wc or a word count command. So just use the word count with the hyphen L option and we will use the less than symbol here. So just give the less than and give the file name on which you want to run this command. We have the file name list. That's it. As you can see, it is counting the word present in the list file. It is so simple. So this is how we can use the input redirection for getting the input of a command to be redirected from a file. So for getting better understanding, I am requesting you to practice these commands on your own. So these are some redirection commands which we can use for redirection purpose. So first one is used such as the output of a command will be redirected to the specified file. The second one is the opposite of that. The command will receive the input which will be redirected from a file. The second one will append the result of our command into the file. The fourth and fifth are similar, just it is used for the stream with descriptor as a n, such as the output from the stream will be redirected to the file. And for the fifth one, it will append instead of replacing the content. The sixth one will be merge the output from the stream n with the stream m and vice versa for the seventh item. So these are the redirection commands which we will be using for the redirection purpose in Unix shell scripting. So I hope you got the better understanding what are the input and output redirection in shell scripting and how we can implement them in our shell script. So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates. And don't forget to follow us on our social media that I have linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.